obviously very, very, very difficult decisions all around uh, from having to cancel spring seasons uh, to having to cancel the basketball tournaments. And it's something that certainly wasn't taken lightly. Um, I will say this, I had an opportunity before we left Atlantic City to, to have dinner with the team and the coaches. And again, they were all great. I mean, obviously they were disappointed, but they were upbeat. They were smiling. Uh, they were disappointed they couldn't play in the NCAA tournament, but they handled it like, like adults, and we appreciate that. Uh, I just think it's taking those opportunities away from the student athletes. Uh, that's the hardest part because they've worked all year round to get here. Um, and you know, we've had fall sports, we've had winter sports that were able to compete and complete their season, but we've had a lot of spring sports that aren't going to be able to get there. So I, th I think that's the, the hardest part. I'm devastated for our seniors. Um, they've worked so hard to help us change the culture of Siena Lacrosse um, and to really turn this program around. It's started with them and um, to see their seasons end like this is a complete devastation. Um, but we know that the decision was made with the best interests of all student athletes in mind. So we certainly respect that and we stand behind the decision made by the MAC and by Siena. So um, definitely devastated. But again, I give all the credit in the world to our seniors who have demonstrated um, such tremendous leadership in, in hearing this news. Certainly, um, you know, obviously we've worked so hard, um, you know, over the course of the past seven, eight months to get to this point and to, you know, have the opportunity to compete um, in non-conference conference games, hopefully the MAC championship again. Um, so. Honestly, the toughest thing was having to tell the team yesterday and watching, you know, the reaction from our seniors who, you know, they know what this means. Um, and so seeing this, this having to be the end for them uh, is just, it really is heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it sounds cliche, but you can't take any moment for granted. And yesterday just proved that um, to a T, you know, you never know when your last minute's gonna be. So you have to play your heart out every second. Um, and especially for us seniors, it's it's heartbreaking. It almost seems kind of unreal. Um, like we're in this, you know, movie that's gonna end and then tomorrow we're gonna play again. Um, but, you know, we, we didn't know. I mean, it was definitely hard after hearing the news yesterday in the locker room. I wasn't sure what to even say to the team. Um, Obviously, our coaches, it was difficult for them to even share the news with us. Um, so we've just kind of leaned on each other, honestly, and um, used one another to get us through this tough time. You know, everyone was playing with that sense of purpose and urgency, and then it's gone. But you, you're growing as a, a young man, and that's all I can do is help teach these guys. You know, obviously it hurts, uh, but there's some great time to reflect, and, and they went out as winners. You know, that they won 20 games, they have a chance to hang a banner, and that, that's, that can never be taken from them. Uh, you know, we had that team dinner last night. I talked to these guys in the locker room last night, and I said, hey, you guys, you guys set the foundation. You know, we're building something here. We want to we wanna continually compete for championships, and we want to live our lives the right way in all we do, you know, in, in the community, in the classroom, on the court. So, you know, I think that's, that's understood by our group, and I think we do have a, a, a group of guys that are mature beyond their years. So uh, when it's all said and done, I think you always have to use these moments as teaching points. I was disappointed for our team more so than anything. Um, you know, being right there, having an opportunity to go to NCAA tournament, I just feel really bad for them. I've been twice, and I just really wanted them to have the opportunity to be able to go. You know, being right there, I just I felt the most for them. Uh, I would say that was probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do as a coach. Um, you know, I've ended some seasons in my career and overtime losses and, you know, but you got to complete your season and you got to, you know, go to the end. Um, do not really have a shot to finish your season. Um, that's, that's, that's difficult. And they tell guys, you know, especially seniors, um, you know, that they didn't even get a chance to compete in a MAC game. Um, that was, that was very difficult. Uh, it's definitely shocking. Um, I think leading up this week when we saw the Ivy League um, cancel first, you know, you kind of had a feeling maybe that was just going to be the start of it. Um, you know, as a coach, you, you never dream you're going to have to, you, you don't prepare um, to be put in that situation and tell your team that their season's going to be over um, for something out of their control. Um, so it, it, it certainly it was shocking. Yeah, I'd say really emotional. It's hard to see, you know, we're both juniors, so to see the seniors that 
have been here since day one, since we got on campus our freshman year, kind of take us under their wing and show us the ropes around Siena to see their reactions to their senior season get canceled. It's heartbreaking for us to see everything we did in the fall over the summer to prepare for this year. And now we have the, op we had the opportunity to play our first MAC game. We came out, we we're ready, having a good week of practice. And to get the news, it's really heartbreaking to see. I think we all have similar feelings. Um, we're all very sad, and it's a little unreal for all of us, but we all realize that it's, it's a bigger picture of keeping the country safe. Um, and it, and it's, it's, it's sad, and it's hard to see, but uh, you know, we realize why it happened.